Now essentially, I'm a corporate photographer. I don't work for the public generally. Uh, I don't do weddings, I don't do portraits or baby pictures. So what do I do? Well, essentially, I'm a business to business photographer. I need communications. I get involved in marketing campaigns, coming up with concepts and ideas as well as shooting pictures. Your creative input is all part and parcel of what you bring to the party. As I said in the introduction, most of my bookings will be one or two hour bookings. It's about getting in and out quickly and efficiently. So let's have a look now at some footage from a recent job. This is a commission from a landscape gardening company who put a new slate patio into the garden of a house. Our job, of course, is to make the patio look as good as we can. I'm guessing that if they've had a nice patio fitted, it's going to be a pretty nice garden. But it's the patio we need to make look good. The garden has just got to be the supporting act. So I arrived at the garden and it was pretty obvious straight away there was washing out on the washing line and that was going to have to be removed. Uh, there's no way you could shoot the picture with that on. So let's go and have a look at the patio itself and see which angles work for us. Straight away, I'm looking at the sunshine. Now, I'd already done my homework on this house. I knew that it was south facing, so I knew that in the springtime, it was going to be somewhere around midday that I was going to get the best light on this patio. Otherwise, I was risking long shadows and uh, there's no controlling where they're going to be. There's an umbrella that the client has up in the garden which we'll just need to fold down and, and move out of the way. Of course if I was an architectural photographer and I had the budget for a couple of reckeys beforehand I could gauge exactly where the shadows were going to be and exactly how the light was going to be on a given occasion. Around this corner is an alleyway. Now there's some really nice slab work here look where we can see a nice big open stretch but the alley is quite enclosed and it's pretty dark and there's a lot of brickwork. If I just stop the picture there, if we look back we've got a nice view of the patio slabs but it's this wall on the right here. Lots of brickwork. If that was covered in uh, ivy or uh, there were lots of big pots with green plants and maybe um, a, a rose going along the wall or a bench or something, I could really look at this area. But I'd have to come back at another time, look at the shadow. We've got two thirds in shade, one third in bright sunshine. I would have to come back at a different time of day. In fact, I'd have to get the light just about right because it would need to be in that small window where the sun shines down that alley. And I reckon that's probably only for maybe an hour, an hour and a half each day. Now, it's a really nice view from here. I like that plant on the left, and the garden's looking nice, but it's not the best view of the landscaping. We're only looking at the patio slabs. The dwarf walls were already there. Our landscaper hasn't done those. They've done the, the patio slabs, those, those slate slabs, and the drainage. And from here, I like the look I like the look, I know they're existing walls, but I like the look of the, the circles of the steps and of the fish pond and it juxtapositions with the nice square or rectangular, should I say, uh, slate slams. I like that, I like the light, the backlight coming through the plants. I'm more inclined to do an upright picture because I think for floor based subjects you get much, much better feeling as it's coming closer to the lens. We'll be shooting into the sun, which will bleach the sky out a little bit, but we've got some nice trees here, and maybe if we use a little lens flare through those trees, the shadows will be falling in the right place. So if we move the sun a little bit in the picture, the shadows are still going to marry up. Just walking back so that you can see, can you see how the patio is lower than the garden? That means we've got a poor view of the patio slabbing, so it'll be the other side. Oh, hello. Ah, now, if when you're doing anything in a garden or in, as a lifestyle picture, there are dogs or cats or toddlers um, or even people that you can use, I always think it adds a little bit of human interest and scale. And um, if this little fella 
will help us out. If we can get them to run across the patio, I think that might add to a picture. Yeah, that's the view, isn't it? And can you see how the, the, the sunlight coming from straight beyond, these are sort of rough slate slabs. They're kind of riven. And if you can see, the light is just getting into some of the crags and nooks and crannies and helping us pick out a bit of texture. We're definitely, definitely going to be shooting it from this side. I'm going to have to expose for the greens, which does mean I'm going to overexpose the slabs a little bit, but in post, that won't be a problem to bring back in. Finally, I'm going to check the other side of the garden. Always like to look all the way around a subject. Um, have a look on every side. Don't dismiss anything till, till you've had a look at it. Actually, I do like those flowers. I prefer it to the other side. And of course, with the sun behind us, it might be worth giving the client a picture from this side too. Well, that was a good shoot. Uh, we did get the little dog to run across the patio and that is actually my favourite picture. I think the slabs look particularly good. The slate with the, the sunlight just getting into the, to the little riven areas uh, and the dog running across the sun flaring from behind. I'll put the uh, finished results up on the screen now. You can have a look and decide which one works best for you. Let me know and uh, see you next time.